made a name for himself this afternoon. An unbelievable run. Incredible stuff. As we go back to the top for Sam Blenkinsop then. From Christchurch here in New Zealand as well. One of the most stylish new team for him as well. And that's the hero bike quick down through outside. there. And what's the split going to tell us? Running the wet scream in the front and the shorty in the back. So up by 0.7 then. Nearly 0.8 of a second of split number one. Just big over there, carrying good pace. I would expect oh. I would expect Sam to want to make up most of his time with that tire choice, running the you know the full wet in the yeah, front there. That's right. You can tell how is much it the out is. too much for that now, Elliot. Do you think it's pretty soft and loamy though? Well, he's he's saying I'm going to give up a bunch of time in that that uh, middle section at the bottom. At this is where you're going to want to see him push. Yeah. He needs to make up time in this section. And a great traction across there. Lost a bit of time there though. Over a second in that second sector then for Blanky. A World Cup winner. Oh, tidy through there though. Look at it. A little that. bit, I mean, he looks good, but there's just a little bit of pace missing, I yeah. feel like, everywhere. Yeah, could be. Gearbox bike, bout drive on that bike as well. Incredibly silent. Yeah, and Sam is just one of those riders. Oh. It's so good, able to find these lines. Manhandles oh. it down. Oh my goodness me, manhandling it through the trees. Oh, and he's up. And he's up, no way. By nearly a second. Taking so much risk there. Wow. The time's all over the, the place this afternoon. Are, no. I feel like you can make up time anywhere on this yeah. track. There's so many different sectors to this track. That's incredible then. So, could Sam Blankensop keep it going down to the bottom now? And so this is where he's he's going to give up a little bit of time with those tires. But, I mean, he's on a great run. Nearly a second it was. 0.7 of the last split. No one, though. who has been out getting near Richie Rude in this last sector. Here comes Sam Blankensop. What's it going to be? He goes fastest, 253.4, nearly 0.4 of a second up. Sam Blenkinsop takes the lead in Rotorua. What was he doing down through that steep, that last steep that section? That was incredible. <laughs> Bernard getting beaten by this man who looks like a carbon copy of him. <laughs> so the 21-year-old then. Let's see what he can do here this afternoon. And it's a strong, aggressive start as he fires it in to the Fakariwa Riva Forest. Down there, off the brakes, down there. Good pace around there. And up by 2.2 .2 at split number one. Wow. Oh, pushing hard, a little slide in that turn there. Oh, so good so far. This is. Great run. You can see the kind of the aggression that yeah. he has. Like I said earlier in the show, there's a couple of different gears that you can find on this track if you're willing to carry the speed that's needed through these sections. Perhaps looking like he's quick, slower through there or steadier through there, but that might be the way to do it fast, Elliot. Not yeah, hit that I mean, second I turn too hard on the way out. Takes your momentum. Tiptoe through there a little. And he's up by three and a half then nearly now. This is incredible from Dewitt. You really have to sh like sh kind of shift out inside Whoa. to outside. He was good through there. Good I like good I like shaving there. off a ton of distance through there. Won the last. Frank Works World Tour stop of 2023. Is he going to start this year then in the same fashion? This is looking good. Massive advantage, but Blanky was super quick through this part of the track. The last split's going to tell us more. He comes whistling into there. Oh, fast out through there, straight on the way out. Oh, man, oh, man. He's up by nearly five seconds now, Elliot. This is ridiculous. Can anyone oh. after this timing it up beautifully through the whoops? Oh, this is a great run. Coming in right where he left off, it seems yep. like, last year, the Cranked Works World Tour. What a run from Jacob Dewitt then. The jewel in the crown of Crankworks then at the last round of this run today. It's been absolutely insane. What's the clock going to tell us then? Here comes Dewitt down 
the line and he goes fastest by five and a half seconds. 247.9. Oh, is that today's win and run? That Elliot is going to take some stopping. That is incredible. The track looking like it might be getting quicker and quicker. But that, my goodness me. That was such a good run. I mean, just so much pace everywhere yeah. so much aggression everywhere wow lucky stevens mcnab from rotorua here then just 20 years old another rider on the union and after that qualifier we know he can push for the win yeah i mean this this guy is just incredibly skilled rode with him in morzine last year i look at the pace coming oh, down there this first split gonna be up by 1.48 then massive taking a breath right after he comes out of the trees oh, the back steps out that's how hard he's pushing that's got to have cost him that surely that advantage must be Elliot, that was mad. You often see that happen like wow. that. Wow, like you said, I mean, pushing everywhere. We always say that the top riders make up so much of their time on the easiest bits of the track. Yeah, yeah, perhaps drying out a little bit offline there as well again. Probably thrown him. It's looking good for Jewett so far, remember? I mean, this is... Still Bernard Kerr at the top, but it's going to take something perfect. Yeah, I mean, it's just Jewett. rough. It's just rough oh, up there. Oh, my goodness me. He's up by 1.9, though, Elliot. Yeah, I, I think... What? I think that's how you have to ride that. I don't think you can ride that section smooth. Look at yeah, that. We saw that. that last year. Oh, he is back on track the now, Nico then. Malali line, being able to hop that. We haven't seen that at all this year. It's so much faster. Well, it... If with mistakes, he's still pulling time. I dread to think what the next split's going to tell us because that was some genius riding down through that section. He is pushing on hard here. Oh, oh. come on down through these trees safely. Last bit now then. So Being Lucky's, able to hold tight out. This is, this is great. About 3.1 for Lucky Stevens McNabb then. Oh, oh, jumps out! In. Oh, the only person we've seen hit that rhythm as well. So Double good. Into Doesn't that. even have to pedal. It's going to be hard for Bernard Kerr at the top now. Is this man about to go fastest then? It's not been a perfect run, but it's been extremely quick. Oh, no. Another mistake, wasn't it? How did he hold on to that? This is unbelievable. Oh, no. It's his bar on the, on the pole. Pedaling everywhere. Lucky Stevens McNabb then. Giving it everything in his hometown here in Rotorua, here he comes. Will it be fastest? Stevens McNabb goes fastest by 2.32. Unbelievable run. Oh man, I want a replay of that. That was insane.